everybody, this is Claire with Perceiving a Life, and if you're new to my channel, you're not aware that things are about to get really, really real. Um, today, or tonight, or today, or whatever you got, it is almost after midnight. I am not asleep. Matthew is, because he doesn't have insomnia. I am about to wash laundry by hand again. I just made a live video about how I have a washer and dryer, but my washing machine doesn't ad adequately agitate um, in such a way that it dissolves my homemade laundry soap. And my dryer gets hot, but it doesn't spin. And it's been about, um, like 4.5 million years since we put in a maintenance request for that. I'm gonna prep this and wring it out to the best of my ability and then hang it up tomorrow morning when I wake up, assuming that I go to sleep. In the process of that, I'm also gonna clean my nasty bathroom. We haven't even lived here a month and it's already awful. I have not done any cleaning on it and that's my fault, so if you're interested in a super dirty bathroom cleaning video, the first half of this video is for you, darling. It is for you. Anyway, let's go. This is what it's like to come into my bathroom. Obviously, I just threw that on the floor. And there's like shirts and underwear and stuff that are on the floor also. My counter is gross. All of that has a home, but it's not in it. These like bags and stuff here. There's another one over there. I take those and I put my phone in them so that I can take them into the bath with me. And then um, that's a smoothie cup because I like to take baths and have smoothies and watch YouTube videos. Um, we have super rusty water. So like it looks like I have pee in my toilet, but I for sure don't have pee in my toilet. My garbage is almost overflowing. I'm going to take care of all of that. Um, I do have a nice floor length video if you want to see my phone and how fat I've gotten. Um, but yeah, all of this is about to get taken care of, including my ring around the tub. So here we go. If you're interested in the laundry portion of this video, I recommend that you go ahead and skip forward to that. If you're interested in the cleaning part of this video, just keep watching. The products that I use are the Mr. Clean Multipurpose Spray and the Mr. Clean Magic Eraser, as well as some paper towels in this video. Paper towels are not something that I typically stock in my house, but since we just moved, I went ahead and bought a couple rolls and you will see me use the very last of the last roll in this video. If you're interested in learning about what we do instead of paper towels and how we manage it, let me know in the comments and I'd be happy to make a video about it. Now I'm aware that I promised a really dirty bathroom cleaning video. If you are like me and your dirt standards are a little bit higher than average, um, it doesn't look as dirty as it really was. There's like toothpaste, splatters, and grossness on everything, and everything just needed to be put away and get a good rinse. If you really just like tidying videos, that's pretty much what this looks like. At this point, I would like to give you a free production tip. I have duct taped my phone for this clip to my shower wall. Sometimes I like to duct tape it to cabinet doors so that it can swing and give different views as needed. If you don't have a tripod or any good production equipment, it's really not the end of the world. I'm literally using an iPhone and some duct tape. Lastly, I would like to direct your attention to this awesome free CC0 music that I downloaded. If you want to know where I get it and others like it, check out the description box below. It is ripe and ready for the downloading. Enjoy! We are half an hour in. I have swept. I've changed the bath mat. 
Um, I cleaned off the counter and I haven't put a new hand towel here because it's not clean yet. I cleaned that mirror and this mirror. Hi. Um, I cleaned the toilet and then I pulled this too just to show you that like my bathroom was clean, you know. Uh, but if you actually pull it back, you'll see my clothes sitting in it. I have not nearly finished filling the tub. Um, but I have got my laundry soap in here. I put it in with the hot water first and I agitated it manually to get it all to dissolve. And then uh, now I'm putting my laundry in here. I'm gonna fill it the rest of the way up, fully submerge all of my clothes and let them soak for like 15 minutes while I do something else. I have finished what I was doing in the other room and these have been soaking for several minutes. They look pretty gross, but that is a thing that happens. You lose a lot of dye in the water, so it's usually that rather than actual, like, dirt. So, um, I'm just going to process these like I usually do, but first I'm going to get my phone ready. So, as I mentioned before, I keep these little, like, snack Ziploc bags around so I can put my phone in it and not worry as much when I am either in the bath or working with something wet or whatever. Um, so you are about to go in the bag. So if you have seen my previous washing laundry by hand uh, videos, then I, you know, you'll know that I stomped on the clothes. I'm not really doing that here. My bathtub up where you are duct taped to the shower wall slopes really hard which is awesome for soaking in the bath not so awesome for soaking laundry and like stepping on it to agitate so now i just use my hands um and agitate and get everything moved around and you'll see like it looks super super dirty the water does um and like i was saying earlier that's usually because of the dye and the clothes and a lot of these are really dark and this actually is a new skirt i don't think it's ever been washed before so i probably should have taken some of my whites out but um what i've got in here are undershirts so i'm not too worried about them losing their luster so i'm just gonna agitate these around a little bit and <clears throat> really Try to force water through the fibers of the clothes, and then if I have something uh, like underwear or socks that I know don't always get as clean as I would have liked, um, if I don't pay them special attention, I'll just grab them and like this is a sock. And so I'll, I'll work with it and I'll maybe take a couple of socks and really just agitate those individually. And then as I get done, I'll shove everything this way and let the water out of the tub, drain it as much as I can, and then we will get ready for our rinse cycle. I have all of my laundry agitated to my liking and shoved this way and I've just pulled the plug out of the water. It's draining now. And just be extra careful to make sure that your clothes are packed up to the side uh, because as I've said before, there are a few things in the entire world that are more unpleasant than having a sock or something sucked down your drain. Don't forget to add your vinegar or liquid fabric softener to the rinse cycle. All right. We are in the heart of the rinse cycle. Um, these clothes got kind of soap bound, so as I rinse them, I'm going to feel whether or not I feel like I'm getting all of the soap out of them. And if I don't feel like they are unsoapy enough, or if I'm still seeing a lot of suds, or maybe just uh, in a different circumstance if I have heavily soiled laundry if my rinse water is not as clean as I would like it to be. And y'all, you saw how dirty my wash water is. This rinse water is like so much better. 
so much better. Um, if I feel like it's not good enough, I'm going to wash it again or I'm going to rinse it again. And um, feeling it now, I put in some extra vinegar, which is what I used for my fabric softener. Um, I put in some extra of that because sometimes when you have really hard water like we do, um, it feels like it's extra soapy. And so just adding a little bit of extra vinegar will help to cut that in the rinse cycle. And I think it's done the trick this time, but if it doesn't, then I'll just rinse it and then I'll fill it up and I'll rinse it again. So this will end up being a single rinse. The same rules apply. I'm gonna to try to force as much water as I can through the very fibers of the clothing to help remove any dirt and grime and grease and stuff that may be in them. These, I did a pretty good job agitating them. So they look and they feel really good. It's almost, I don't know if you can hear this, but it's like squeaky clean on my hands. So that's a good indicator that the water is good for a rinse cycle if you're using vinegar. If you're using conventional fabric softener, like a liquid fabric softener, then it's not gonna be squeaky clean because you have a lot of wax and parabens and oils and things that are in that that are not gonna allow for that to happen. So I'm just gonna go through and in a similar fashion, I'm gonna go through and rinse everything as I see fit, shove it back this way, and then let the water out again, and then we'll begin wringing everything out. We are in the wringing out portion of the video, and um, my water's not done draining out, but you don't have to wait for it to drain all the way out before you start wringing your clothes out. If you are um, older or <laughs> if you suffer from chronic fatigue or low muscle tone, I might sit and wait for it to drain out and let it like trickle down for 10 or 15 minutes or so. Uh, before you start wringing it out just to make it a little bit easier on you or even if you're just new and uh, You're not quite ready. You haven't built up the muscles for it. Um, I might wait a few minutes But I'm gonna go ahead and just jump right in So if you've watched my previous video, you know that the bane of my existence um, are pants and towels but if you watched my last live stream, then you'll know that I've recently started wearing uh, dresses and skirts exclusively. So my new pain is wringing out maxi skirts. So you'll get to see me do all three of those just right now. Pants, these are Matthew's work pants. They are a stiff khaki material, they are Wranglers. And so what I do is I take them out like, like I'm going to fold them almost. And I do fold them in half lengthwise. And then I fold them in half lengthwise again. And so now I have this. In my previous video, there was a rod that I had that presumably you'd hang washcloths or something on. I don't have that here. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to hold my two ends together. I'm going to twist it just a little bit, just like a half twist. Hold those two together and put my arm through the hole that I made and hold the two, the top and the bottom ends together in my other hand. And I'm actually going to use my arm as a tension rod. This can be very uncomfortable sometimes, so just kind of be careful when you do it. Um, the best way to do it is if you have a second person, one of you hold the waist and the other hold the um, bottom cuff and you twist it out together, but I'm doing it by myself. So throw it in your laundry basket. I have mine sitting on the toilet. Bonus points if it is dirty or cracked and awful like mine. Um, 
here is a towel. Um, I'll do a similar motion. I'll have it as a towel, fold it in half, and then fold it in half again. And I might even fold it in half a third time like this one because it is pretty skinny. I will do my little half turn, bring my ends together, put my hand through the hole, and use my arm to twist it around. And remember that every drop that you get out is another um, few minutes that it doesn't have to be on the line, the faster it'll dry. So there's that one. And then finally, I'm gonna do a maxi skirt. Gotta figure out which end is which. And you're gonna treat it like a towel, basically. You'll have it as a maxi skirt, fold it in half, and then fold it in half again. Just make it skinny. Do your half turn, bring your ends together, put your arm through, and bring it out. This one's not gonna ring well. It's too stretchy. And my ends aren't meeting up nicely. Let me try this again. There we go. All right, round two. This does wonders for insomnia, by the way, because I needed to do something physical to wear myself out and be ready for bed. And this definitely helps. So I've wrung it out a little bit, but it's this material is just not willing to give up a lot of water, so it will have to be out for a while. Um, my laundry basket that I'm using, I don't know if you can tell, but there's like um, like a two inch lip before the bottom. If it sits overnight like mine is going to, all of that water that's going to drain off is going to drain to the bottom, and I recommend having one that doesn't have cracks or anything at the bottom if you're going to leave it for an extended period of time so that it doesn't leak all over your floor. But um, I'm going to go ahead and just finish wringing everything out and I will be back with you here in a few moments. <sighs> all right, I might actually be able to sleep now. I'm so sweaty and I'm so hot and I'm covered in water and stuff and Anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you found it informative. I hope that this doesn't find you in a time of need, but I know that, you know, when I was looking for this kind of video, I was in a time of need. So, um, if that is you, then I pray that better times will find you, and I'm pretty positive that they will find you. Um, I just hope that you also go out looking for them. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video, like I said, and uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you around.